Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Why is it, Matt, in this series between Minnesota and Wisconsin, that quite often you see the best and the worst of a team in the same game? It, it's that old line, expect the unexpected. I mean, you think back of the craziness in this game, even last year, where Wisconsin seemingly is in control, seemingly about to put the game away, and then there's a fumble that turns into a scoop and score for Minnesota, and then all of a sudden it becomes a dogfight late. Uh, whatever you think is logical, you tend to throw it out the window in this series because it, it's one of the oldest lines that you've ever heard about the, you know, forget the records, but I think it really does apply in this series. Both the Gophers and the Badgers are approaching this game from the same direction, coming off losses in their Big Ten opener. But the motivation is a little bit different for each school. I have to think for Minnesota, this is about season, saving the season. You know, the Gophers lost four straight at home. Uh, you know, at times played pretty well in those games, but in certain games did just enough to lose. And look, if you're Minnesota, if you're a senior, you don't know what it's like to parade the trophy. It's been six years. Uh, Wisconsin has won the last six games of this series. Uh, much has been made of Minnesota's empty trophy case. So I'm sure for those guys, that's a motivator. For Wisconsin, clearly, Mike, it's about keeping it here, making it a seven straight year where they keep the ax and, and trying to get themselves back into the mix. You know, we talked about last week, if you lose, maybe that's a mulligan. Well, they've used it now. So it's about getting on track and see if you can't get yourself back in the fight here in the Big Ten race. More so than anything else, I believe people want to see Wisconsin's uh, ability to show some resiliency in the throw game. Uh, that, that wasn't the Wisconsin we've come to know with Scott Tolzien and Nick Toon and Lance yeah. Kendricks, the tight end. I have to think with Nick that there was some game rust. I think maybe I got too excited, you know, with Nick coming back. And, you know, I know they had been encouraged with what they had seen from him in practice, but it had been a month since he'd played. So I have to think uh, that that was a factor with him. And, and Michigan State, to its credit, did a good job. You, know, you got to think against Lance Kendricks, one of the better tight ends in, certainly one of the best in the league, if not the country. But, you know, the Spartans did a nice job. But you want to see Lance get back into, that, you're right, that throw game in general get back in the rhythm and it's going to start with those two guys because this team is all about the play action pass yeah. and when it's going well you're hitting on both cylinders there as far as the silver lining in that defeat it has to be the play of the freshman tailback James White without a doubt he can make some plays that we, we quite honestly haven't seen from the running back from the tailback position here for a while his, his ability to bounce the ball outside and outrun people Greg Jones the All-American linebacker talked about it the All-American linebacker at Michigan State about White's speed his ability to get to the edge and and outrun people and clearly he did that on the two touchdown runs did it a time or two in other running situations as well it, it, I would think it makes John Clay's job easier. You know, they can pound away with John inside and know that you have James White you can turn to. You're right, that is a silver lining. In order for those games, those upcoming games against Ohio State and Iowa to be truly meaningful, the Badgers have to take care of business against the Gophers. And if they do that, then you're right, it, it sets the stage. You know, I think everybody, I think fans, and understandably so, have looked forward to the night game the following week against Ohio State. Now, if the Badgers can keep the ax, then you're right back in it. You know, uh, can Ohio State run a table? Can Michigan State run a table? I don't know, I guess I have my doubts. But if you're Wisconsin, you can take care of that yourself, at least with Ohio State, at least with Iowa. But it matters most if Wisconsin can take care of things on Saturday against Minnesota. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. This has been Badger Breakdown. Thanks for watching.